as the lead holds at eight to nothing. Devin Mesoraco will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yep, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. Coglin is there, one away. That's a big one there to start the ninth. Two outs away now. You can cut the tension in this building with a knife. Zach Kozart will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. One out, nobody on. Now the 0-2 pitch. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. One out to go. Can you believe this? Man, I wonder what's going through his head right now. And it looks like we're going to have a move for a pinch hitter as it's the left-handed hitting Skip Schumacher that starts to loosen up in the on-deck circle. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. in the world to do probably the hardest but we were fortunate enough to see it here guys a perfect game one more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say anytime you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, he really came through with a dominating pitching performance. You see there, 12 strikeouts. That doesn't even tell the whole story. That was as good as I've ever seen him pitch. So that's a wrap here this afternoon. For EK, Psycho, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The Cubs win this one 8 to nothing. So long from Cincy.